So Georgia, South Carolina, and Tennessee are starting to reopen non-essential businesses. And a lot of local Georgia officials were caught off guard. So how Governor Brian Kemp's narrative keeps changing is amazing. Remember three weeks ago, he said, well, I'll show you. This is what he said three weeks ago. Take a well, look. We've been telling people from directives from the CDC for weeks now that if you start feeling bad, stay home. Uh, those individuals could have been infecting people before they ever felt bad. Well, we didn't know that until the last 24 hours. Today, we are announcing plans to incrementally and safely reopen sectors of our economy. If we have an instance where a community starts becoming a hot spot, then, you know, I will fake, uh, take further action. But right now, I feel like we're in a, in a good spot to move forward. Well, that's all well and good, but how are you going to guarantee that the things you've reopened are safe for people to go into? Everybody wants small business to reopen, but how are you going to guarantee that the businesses that you're reopening are going to be fine? Am I crazy, Megan? Do you, am I making sense? No, you're making total sense. Um, this is a tough catch-22, I think, for all governors. Um, some of the things that concern me about this opening is he he said that they're going to implore social distancing. I don't know how you can have social distancing when you're getting a massage, and that's one of the businesses that's being allowed to reopen or getting your hair cut. Um, I do understand that 50% of the cases are in New York City, so there is an argument to be made that um, mass transit, people living in obviously much closer quarters, much more confined spaces, the disease spreads more rapidly. The things that we do know about this disease is that it's three times more contagious than the flu, so that makes it even worse. But we have new research coming out of California that says that they believe that almost 5% of the population has had it and been asymptomatic. And look, I don't. I, I have said before, over and over again. I said it yesterday. I'm mixed on this. I understand that we need to open up the economy. I don't believe that we can keep the economy closed for five years, which is how long it could possibly take for us to get a vaccine. But that being said, this doesn't seem like a slow roll open to me. This seems like just opening the doors and letting a bunch of businesses that I don't believe need to be open right now. I, I think I would be more comfortable if it was just a few businesses at a time, because unfortunately right now, Georgia really is the canary in the coal mine. We are going to wait and see if this turns into a hot spot in the next few weeks. And I think if you're a Georgian, that probably creates a lot of anxiety. Yeah. yeah. And well, Joy, do you think this is going to be a comfortable situation for states that surround Georgia? I mean, are you comfortable with folks coming from there to here if they're not practicing the way that we are here? No, I'm not comfortable at all with that. I think that this guy, Kemp, is really either, I don't know what he is. Is he stupid or is he just following Trump blindly, hoping that, that he'll get reelected? I mean, he said that he learned that you can get the virus from an asymptomatic person just two days ago, okay? How dumb is he? Fauci has been saying this since February. He needs to stop watching fake news on Fox. And this other guy, DeSantis in Florida, may I just say another brain trust, is opening the beaches while trying to figure out how to put on a mask. I mean, these are not like, you know, Mensa members running these states. By the way, Georgia reported 900 new cases in 24 hours. OK, so if you in Georgia, please do not come to New York. Thank you. Georgia, you could have had Stacey Abrams. I'm not nitpicking. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, Sonny, we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> tattoo, I'm just saying we're, they're talking about tattoo parlors and, and gyms reopening. I mean, does a gym right now need to be reopening in the midst of a pandemic where stuff's happening? I mean, or, or should all of this, you know, if we're trying to reopen stuff, shouldn't they be included in the stimulus bill? Wouldn't that be more helpful? Well, well, that's the thing, you know, and I take this Georgia, uh, you know, reopening really personally because, as you all know, my family's from Georgia. My father's family's from Georgia. Uh, and they are scared and, and they are nervous because they have been staying at home and following uh, the stay at home order, especially those that are in Atlanta. Um, but I don't understand how a tattoo parlor is an essential business at this point. Uh, you know, I mean, do you need to get a, a, a tattoo during a pandemic? And, you know, bottom line is Georgia reopening is almost this like, high stakes uh, uh, public health bet, 
right? He's, he's, he's betting the economy versus American lives. And it's a conversation that we've had a long time ago, uh, for a long time. And if you think about, about Georgia in particular, you know, um, Georgia has not had a sustained downward trend over the last two weeks. And as Joy mentioned, actually, the trend is upward. And, and so my question is, what is going to happen when people do go back to work in Georgia or when people do go to a massage parlor or get a tattoo and they are infected? Are those employers uh, now liable? and will they get sued? Are they now going out of business? These small businesses should just be included in the stimulus bill. The stimulus bill did not cover small businesses in the way that it should have. You've got the Shake Shack having to give back $10 million. Why would Shake Shack get $10 million and you have other small businesses not getting the money? This, again, is just the incompetence of the Trump administration, just not doing it correctly. Steve Mnuchin thinks $1,200 is enough for an American family to live on for... for 10 weeks. This is the Trump administration's well, problem. Let me point something out. You know, you think about that. Think about all of the NYCHA folks living in the NYCHA houses who may not be getting anything at all. They're just now getting tested. I mean, this is, you know, crazy about to happen. But Georgia, you could have had Stacey Abrams.